Hello and welcome to Stephanie B. Creativity. Today, I am going to make a hot water bottle cover. And I know hot water bottle covers, boy, that's hard to say, are not necessarily the first thing you think of when you think of knitting on a circular knitting machine. But it should be, because basically all it is, it's a tube that's closed at one end and has a way to get into it from the top. I'm going to do one with the scarfy yarn. This yarn is 75% acrylic and 25% wool. I think it'll hold up nicely and it should be soft. This was done with 55 rows of plain knitting and 25 rows of ribbing. I'm going to do a cast on with waist yarn. Then I'm going to do 25 rows and then make that all into a roughly two by two ribbing. Let's get started on this fun project. I'm going to cast on four or five rows of waist yarn. Four rows. And now we're going to knit 25 rows, Just standard knitting. All right, I'm going to be using, I think it's a 4.5 crochet hook. So you're lifting it off the needle right here. Since we have that waist yarn, we know exactly how far down we have to go. We're going all the way down. And if you use a yarn that has a little bit of a hair to it, it's going to be sometimes a little bit sticky when you're pulling it, pulling it down to the end. So when you're doing your ribbing, you're actually going to want to be reversing your stitches, right? So to make knit stitch on this side, I'm going to go down to the, down to the last loop right here, put my crochet hook through it. Then I'm going to pick up the bar and pull it through the loop and walk my way back up the ladder. Just like that, we're getting knit stitches. do two columns of knit stitches and leave two columns of purl stitches and work my way around. This is actually a very quick project once you get the hang of doing your rib stitches that and then I'm dropping that all the way down so satisfying to drop all those stitches and actually it's very very relaxing to pick them all up too. drop all the way down to the very last stitch like that and then walk your way back up I'm gonna do that all the way around I'll meet you back here when I'm finished ribbing and then tell you the next step. I have gone all the way around. I've got ribbing. This is the neck of a hot water bottle. I'm going to do 50 rounds now for the main body of the hot water bottle. 
for this part. And then I will use waste yarn to cast off. And I'll be back here when we're cast off and I'm closing up the end. All right, the bottom of this right here, we're going to just stitch these stitches together. Now I'm noticing that I've dropped a stitch right here from the waste yarn. So I just have to pay attention to that. It's pretty close to where I'm starting. So I'm going to turn this inside out though, because it works easier for me to be able to see my stitches. Get this lined up, the waste yarn and the end of the main yarn coming off the same edge. Grab the crochet hook. I'm going to put my hook through the end where the waist yarn is and through the first or last of the main yarn stitch. I'm going to pull that tail through those two just so that it's latched in. And then I'm going to start going back and forth and picking up the last main color loop on each side. Going back and forth, just picking up those stitches. And I'll meet you back here when I've picked up all my stitches and turned it right side out. Okay, when you get down to this last stitch, there's nothing to attach it to. So I just grab a small piece of the yarn, pull it through the loop, pull the tails through the loop, and now that's latched in place. Oh, and I am going to go ahead and weave this in, the main yarn in so that it doesn't come loose. And make sure when you're weaving it in, you're only weaving it into the main yarn. Don't, don't dig too deep and pick up that waste yarn. Turn it right side out. And now we're going to take off the waste yarn. And Ooh. all right. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. But let's see if this fits. Now, because the neck is made a little bit tighter, you do have to fold your hot water bottle to put it in. But what I do is I put it in and get it all lined up. And I pretty much leave mine in the hot water bottle cover all the time. Oh, I like this. I like the feel of it. A hot water bottle cover for any time of the year, perfect to take camping or in uh, those cold drafty houses. I've been reading a lot of ghost stories and things. There's always cold drafty houses and a hot water bottle hot would just be perfect. This would make an awesome like farmer's market type of gift that people could buy. Oh, I just, all kinds of ideas. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you will check out more videos here on my channel. And if you found value in this lesson, please make sure to click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share the video with your friends. I want to see you back here again really soon for another fun project and make sure go out, do something creative, take care of yourself and be kind. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.